And now it's time to integrate our first API to our front-end app. So uh, we have implemented the registration API and now it's, uh, uh, we need to add it, uh, the call for this API in the signup.view file, which we have, um, yeah, which we have implemented. Let's just quickly close all of, all of this. And <laughs> where are the components? Uh, we have this um, uh, login and a sign up site, uh, sign up, no, uh, sign up view file. Um, but the thing is that uh, we need to restructure this also uh, a bit. And, um, and because uh, we, we, need, we want that login and sign up uh, page to be a component. So that's why I'm going to create the login view and uh, the sign up view file then uh, just cut as uh, this uh, from the index view page to login and do the same thing let's just quickly save it do the same thing for the sign up page and uh, what's the remaining here uh, okay we have removed everything there's a boilerplate quickly uh, with uh, with our code but uh, this is a login uh, we can uh, call this login component and register it inside uh, the components this is how um, we can uh, build our app with a uh, with a what is it style no uh, nothing remains here, so the remaining thing with uh, uh, sign up site, and it is in fact uh, again something happened with uh, VS Code this linting and uh, using this uh, here. I will fix it. <coughs> so sign up. Nice, we don't need any of this. And here. Of course, sign up. Nice and clean. And let's just start our development environment for our next app. It should do the trick. So let's just wait a bit. So what what we had uh, we did here, like uh, we put all the logic inside the components, the login and sign up view and just use uh, register uh, them as a component inside the page that is uh, that's a, well, how we need to implement it uh, let's just quickly go to a nice and to to sign up great it works and now uh, we, we need to implement um, the API call integrate the API call to to the sign up button Let's just do it quickly. Uh, go to the sign up view. Let's just uh, scroll it up, scroll it down. Um, <laughs> what we have, yeah, pre order this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, we need to add this base URL to the access settings. Why we uh, need it here? Because uh, our base URL is, uh, as you remember, uh, from, uh, from the backside. Um, and from the back end, it is something like API uh, v1 and register. So uh, we don't want to type the whole URL each time when we send the request, request to the back end server. That's why we need to add this um, to, 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 to mm, here. And every single request was just uh, will be uh, prefixed this uh, with this base URL. Uh, that's the settings for our um, for our Nux config. And let's just quickly to do the sign up side. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, what we have uh, here. So there's a sign up handler. When we push this uh, the sign up button, it it will be called. And uh, we uh, implemented this uh, sign up uh, object 
Let's just quickly rename it to the data because we are sending the data to the backend. And uh, I'm going to uh, use try, oops, try and um, catch here. Yeah. And uh, called, uh, the, this is const, const response, uh, which is uh, going to call uh, this Axios and post to the, mm, post to the mm, slash register, uh, slash register endpoint uh, on the backend. Uh, that means that maybe we need to eliminate the, uh, try, uh, the last slash here and yes uh, let's just quickly console log the uh, response which will be returned from the post request and if something wrong happened I'm going to console uh, console log uh, the error message message as well so this is a uh, data and uh, basically, uh, we have uh, implemented the uh, sign up endpoint here. Um, let's just quickly test it. Uh, I'm not sure what, oh, something happened. Mm. Nice and nice error. So, yeah, const res, const res as date. Um, ah, right, because this is uh, not an async function we can't just await here uh, that's fixed let's just do some mm, nice 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 so refresh the page okay I'm going to create some a uh, user uh, with a dummy dummy email and dummy password let's just uh, open the network and see see if uh, the post request is going to be run so we have this post request implemented nice and clean manner but 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 uh, there's an error uh, the status was just uh, quickly see what happened in the back inside uh, in fact in fact nothing but something wrong oh yeah I see uh, it seems to be like course a policy disabled our mm, uh, request so we need to add uh, the Django course uh, to the backend uh, yes ju let's just do it in the next video and uh, quickly get back and sign up through our phone and app see you in the next video